Hi, how are you? Are you doing good? I hope you are. I know I am, and I'm happy that you're here because we are live again with the used car website that we're building with Laravel, Liveware, and Filament. And today we have... what do we have for today? Let's see. Uh, there is one test case that I forgot last time. We managed to show the brand, model, and year for the car, but we also need images. We need pictures for the cars. And I forgot to show that last time. So let's do it today before we move on to the rework where we are going to stop using regular HTML to display the information. Now we're going, we are going to move to filament tables. And hopefully if we have time and everything goes as planned, no errors, everything's smooth, we might get to the custom table rows where we are going to create, um, we're going to reuse the carousel card that we created in a separate video. And we are going to use that as the rows for our, our filament table. So yeah, let's jump in. Let me check the chat, make sure it's, uh, I'm not ignoring anyone. All right. Perfect. Okay, so let's jump back into VS Code. And we have two test cases so far. But we need another one. So it, this will be for the car images. So it shows a list of images. And let's say function. Let me grab the setup from last time. In this case, I'm just going to need one car. Like so. Let's grab this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do for the images is to make it simple or simpler, uh, instead of having a separate table with a separate model and a relationship between the tables, <clears throat> since so far, I'm, I don't know in the future, but so far, all I need to know is the image, the file name. That's it. So in that scenario, I think this the easiest thing we can do is have a JSON column that will be cast to an array. And it'll be just an array of file 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 names for the images. And we can show those show those in the final render. Uh, Hamad, how you doing? Thank you for joining me. How are you doing today? Thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. So yeah, uh, I'm going to create a JSON column in this case. Again, might change in the future. There is no need for it right now. I just need to have an array and yeah. Rafael, hello, good night. Good night to you as well, my friend. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being here. So thinking that there is a JSON column uh, for this car, I can just add something to the state here. So this, how do we call this column? Images. Now, how is it going to work? Well, if we do it correctly, I'm guessing we just have to pass an array and then that array will be turned into a JSON string. We'll be doing some casting in the model itself. So this should work. Uh, by the way, I prepared um, before the before going live. I grabbed three images from the interwebs, and I put them in my project. Just three pictures of the same beat up Corolla, and I put those in um, storage app public. And we're going to make those accessible to the web or to our project in the public folder in just a second. 
So those are there. So uh, what I can do is just use those car one or uh, I don't need to use the same names. Image one dot let's say JPEG and image two. Image three. Okay, so what I want in this case is I want to see those images rendered. So probably just an assert C. I'm going to grab this assertion from here, from the previous test, and just put it here. Car list, assert OK, and assert C text. I just want this exact setup. All right. Uh, general errors table cars has no column named images. Okay. Let's open create cars table and let's use table JSON and it's called images and that should take care of that array to string conversion right because the the column that I just added is a JSON column. It could be a JSON or string or yeah, or JSON or text. But since MySQL supports JSON columns, I'm using JSON. At the end, it's just text. So I cannot put an array into a string column. But that's, for, that's what casting is for. So now we need to... I'm going to close this migration and let's open the car model. And let's see if I remember what is, is it protected? Things protected casts. Images to JSON. So when you cast a column as JSON, Laravel will take care of taking that JSON data from that column and turn it that and turn that into an associative array, which means that the array that I'm putting in is not good. Let me fix that real quick before we test. So I'm going to need keys for this array. Let's say file, file name, file. Let's just use file. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. So yeah, um, Laravel will take care of uh, taking array data, uh, key value pairs, and turn those into JSON strings, and vice versa. Take JSON strings from the column and turn those into an array. And JSON columns also fit neatly into filament. We can use repeaters, for example, to manage uh, the images of a car, etc. So it fits very well. Let's test this again. Okay, so database hurdles over. Now we need to actually display those in the rendered page. So uh, let's open car list, 
right now we just have table three columns brand brand name modeling year let's add one more column here and i'm just gonna use for now ul and then you can do for each car images as image yeah can display image file and hopefully that would be that that would be it no it isn't attempt to read property file on string oh okay yeah it's uh sorry it's it's a, it's an associative array so just like that makes me think if i even need a key i'm gonna try like this if it works then i'll rework it and see if i actually need a key I don't know if I, I'll need it when, I, uh, when I'm when i working on filament, but let's see. This again. Really? No? <laughs> Sorry. As image. Not showing up still. Why? Let me take this into a variable and take a look at what do we get. Once I create that. Hey, Bugar, how you doing? Thank you for being here. How's your day going? Really? Just one file and image too? So it's a problem with the setup here. Let's try not using keys. Yeah, that worked. Now we have an array. Fast. Great. All right, so now we can display an array of images for the car. But uh, I think we, we get to the point where we... First, we need to rework the view so that we are using filament tables. Did I? I never installed filament, did we? Or did I? Such a bad memory. Yes, I did. Of course I did. All right, so to use tables. I'm hoping that I don't have to install the tables package on its own. Uh, 
Let's see. So let me, uh, best thing I can do is reference the documentation so I don't miss one step. Zoom in a bit. And table builder. I don't need to do this. Everything is installed. So what I need is to add a table to a library component. I already have a component. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So I need to implement has forms. Do I need a form? Better be safe than sorry. So has forms, has table, and interacts with table, interacts with forms. So in the car list component, let's do implements has table and has forms. And then use interacts with table interacts with form. Next, we need the public function table. Let me just copy this. Import table. The query comes from cars or the car model. So let's put that here. And let's start with the columns. So what do we need? First of all, the car brand name, model and year. So this will be a text column. We can reference um, relationships in the car model by simply using dot notation. So brand name. Another text column for the model, another for the year, and for now, another for the images. Just okay. And now after that, we need to put this in our view. Our list. We can take away all of this and just put. Take away all of this without cutting it. And then put this table. I think that's it. So if everything went well, we should be able to go back to the test. Run everything. And it broke, of course. Uh, Integrity constraint violation failed brand's name. Where is this failing? It has a brand? How is it the model is failing? What? Okay, this is weird. Uh, 
Uh, no, it's uh, it's right here. It's imported. I don't know why this one's failing. Let's solve one by one. Uh, probably the factory. I'm guessing. The brand factory, actually. Let's check that. Brand factory. Yeah, there is no name. I'm guessing this is residual errors from everything that we did last week. I didn't make sure that everything was running correctly after I was done. So let's just fake word here. Uh, now it's failing on car model. Okay. Yeah, it's just that I'm not, I added a bunch of columns, never changed the, the factories. So I'm trying to create a factory of a car here that doesn't have a model. And I'm guessing it's going to fail for the year as well. Same thing with factory. So let's run it again. Yep. Year. Back to car factory. Fake year. Just to be safe. I know I'm I know I'm jumping the app models brand. Uh where was that not imported? Is it in the car list test? Okay, that one's fixed. Let's see uh, what else did I fix best. Okay, so it, this was good. Now all of these are failing. It renders the carless component. Text column not found. All oh, right. Copy and paste, man. Copy and paste. Carless, no, car, not car test, car factory. Actually, it was car test. Car list. Yeah, I'm using text column and I need to use... Um, actually, I need to import all of these with form filament tables. This is how I do it. And then filament. No, tables. Tables, columns, text column. All right, that, that did it. So it was a combination of outdated factories and the lack of use for the text column but yeah the rework actually went fine it had nothing to do with the rework except for the fact that i didn't use the import correctly but everything else is working fine we are still uh, passing the test we we can still see the model brand and year and a list of images but um I guess we should 
we should try and see this in <coughs> boy sorry we should try and see this in the browser now just so that we have uh, an idea of how it's looking now and then work on the carousel card plenty of time so let's see where do we begin i think first thing i'm going to need is um, some test data so let's create a database seeder uh, php artisan make seeder r seeder And here, I'm going to create three cars. No, let's create. It doesn't matter if they're, they have the same information, to be honest. I just need some data in the table, even if it looks the same. So what, I, what I'm going to do is let me grab some of these setups here. Actually, I can grab this. import car import brand and let's create how many five six let's go with six i'm going to create six cars for the same brand same model same year doesn't matter same images all i want is to have a data a table full of data federico castañeda buenas noches saludos desde Chihuahua, México. Con mi agradecimiento y felicitaciones por el buen material. I was reading in Spanish. Sorry about that. So just uh, Federico, thank you so much. And I'm glad you're here. It means a lot that uh, that you like the, the stream. And yeah. Thank you for showing up. All the way from Mexico. What time is it there in Chihuahua right now? Right here, here is uh, 10, 10 p.m. I'm curious to know if this is a good schedule for you. Now that you have a database seeder, let's put it here. Add models. No, actually, let's just use the how do we use a class either here? Jesus, I forget. Seven AM. Makosh. Where where are you, Makosh? So it's uh ten. 11, 12, nine hours. Yeah, I count. <laughs> I count with my fingers. You have no idea how bad I am in math. What am I looking for? Oh, Laravel. 1 a.m. in Brazil. What are you doing up? I appreciate it, of course, but you need to sleep. Says the guy who stays up until 2 a.m. doing absolutely nothing. Turkey. Oh, welcome. All the way from Turkey. Wow. Seven AM in 
I hope I'm saying it, I'm saying this right. Ba Barian, Barain, Barain. Is that in the same area as uh, Turkey? I'm sorry for the ignorance. I don't really know much of the area. Azerbaijan, 8 a.m. It's very early for you guys. I appreciate you uh, showing up this early. I should do it. Okay. All right. So that gives us around six cars of data. Let's uh, make sure the database is fresh and ready. All in the Middle East. Interesting. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for showing up that much early i know i wouldn't be able to wake up that early although i do have some bad habits when it comes to sleep i'm like a night owl i don't know if this is for everyone but my time my most productive time is in the evenings evenings and nights i am absolutely useless in the mornings i'm not a morning person Migrate fresh. Ooh, what's oh we don't have why don't you offer up to create it? Doesn't exist database. Oh let's do migrate. Not fresh, just migrate. There you go. Yes, I would like to create it, thank you. Near Saudi Arabia. Man. All over the globe, Mexico, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Middle East. I'm so lucky. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Now that we have database created, because apparently I, I, I never did that. Let's do PHP artisan DB seed. Cool. So I'm guessing if I just do PHP artisan serve and I'm going to create another terminal here for PHP, no, bun run dev or beat. I have not installed anything yet. So let's do bun install. And bun run dev. Okay. Move to the browser and localhost 8000. Do we have a specific route for this? Let me check. I don't think we have routes. Sources, no. Uh, routes. Web. We don't have routes. Well, let's create one. I'm just thinking, if we don't have routes, do we even have a layout? Layout template? Sources, views, live wire? We don't. So we can't use this as a full page component we need to create a template real quick uh, let me know if you need a kanban board in your filament app i got a package for that seamless plug thank you thank you for the offer i hmm. kanban that's uh that's the same as trailer right like uh, 
different columns. That's very interesting. I guess nobody have nobody here have English as first language. That's that's a good point. Ah, uh, like Trello. Okay, we need a we need a template. So let's do PHP artisan live wire. What was it? Layout. Right? Yeah. And we need to in this layout we need to add a couple of things so that it will work with filament. Where is it? Components, layouts, add the blade PHP. And if we look at the documentation, I think they, they mentioned something here. Oh, I guess we also need Tailwind, CSS. I don't think we have that. No, we don't. Okay, so... Okay, let's do this. Even though I didn't install the package, just the package, I think. Let's run this. Scaffold tables. Yeah. I think that might override the layout that I just created, but that's fine. Would you like to show? No, that's good. All right, that did add all of the Tailwind CSS requirements, and it yeah, it pretty much over 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 replaced my layout file with everything I need for filament styles and filament scripts. Peer PHP artisan live wire layout. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I did that, but then again, I need filament. So the key here was this command PHP artisan filament install scaffold tables, and that take care of the layout. And now I need to do bun install again because it did um, add some requirements like Tailwind CSS. Actually, let's do that in the other window. Here. Bun install. Bun run there. All right. That should take care of the filament side of visual things. Now we need a route which was the thing that I was doing. Hey Arturo, how are you? Felipe from Brazil. How? Felipe? Hi Felipe, how you doing? Thank you for being here. I'm doing well. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you for showing up. Uh... Close a few things here. I don't need this, not this, not this. Maybe this. Yeah. So yeah, we need a route. I'm gonna put it in the root for now. Just for testing. And let's call car list class. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's working. The only thing that I don't like is that it's uh, taking over all of the space in the screen. So I'm going to add some padding to the template. Okay, a little better. I'm not going to worry about um, resizing and designing for, for mobile or anything like that. I just need a table that I can look at. Everything seems to be fine. Now comes the time to replace the rows for this table with custom rows. Well, first thing I want to do is instead of using rows, let's use a grid. And for that, let me just reference the documentation real quick. Layout. Arranging records into a grid. Simply use table content grid. And we can use how many, how many, how many columns? Let's see if this work. didn't really do I need to use a stack hmm probably Tables. I think it's layouts. Columns layouts. Tables, columns, layout, stack. And let's put Let's place all of our columns inside the stack. Thank you. So it's a bit delayed, the chat, by the way. So I just saw the um, layout, sta layout stack suggestion. But yeah, you're right on, right on the money. There you go. So... Yeah, now, well, I don't like, I think three is too much, too little. Uh, let's go with five. MD, let's go with three. This will give me an idea of having at least two rows of data. And yeah, now what I want to do is, since my custom row is going to have its own styling i don't want that border around the card so to remove all styling from the grid uh, let me see if i remember how it was
was it styled? I don't remember. Mm, see if I can remember. There is a way to remove the style of the grid. Collapsible content, preventing columns from creating white space, allow custom to stack on mobile. Uh, advanced, maybe? Mm, I don't remember. Hold on. I, I'm not going to waste more time. I did if uh, I have it in my other, in my other project that I, I am going to use as a base for the car. So if you haven't seen it, I created a carousel card component. This is just a component. Hmm. One second, guys. I have it written here somewhere. Just going to refer to my notes. Note. Oh, I think there is no... I might be thinking of something else then. The way that I do it, I remember doing it was like this. I just, I'm just overriding a bunch of glasses to remove the shadow and the ring, but there's got to be something. It's got to be another way. And in fact, I think I remember there is another way. I just can't remember the function name. Well, I think this works for now. If I if I remember, I will update it. But for now, if I just override these two classes in my table, it does nothing. Okay. Now I'm really, now I'm really confused. Mm.
or maybe it's just the fact that maybe LiveWire is not it's not catching these classes. That might be it. So let's check LiveWire configuration real quick. Mm, not LiveWire, sorry, Tailwind. So my class is in app liveware car list. Yeah. I need to add app liveware folder here so that whenever I add new classes, Tailwind CSS will detect those and add these the add them to the final build. There you go. That worked. Okay. So now I have a table. The table has uh, the rows arranged the rows arranged in a grid, and no styling at all. Now we can use a custom row. Let's see. Okay, so from the documentation, let's check out. Is it in advanced? Let's, let me look for custom rows. No, that's not what I want. Custom HTML. Here we go. So, what we can do, or you may add custom HTML to your table using a view component. It can even be collapsible. So, image column. No, 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 no. Okay, so what we do is it's like a, it's like using a split, but instead we use a column filament tables columns layout view. Where is it? Inside the columns, right? Yeah, it's inside the columns array. This, this is sometimes this is kind of confusing because they, they put an array here, but they don't tell you where that array is. So that's the columns array here. So let's, uh, let's use tables, views, columns, views. Layout, sorry. Layout, view. And I'm going to need a layout. How do we call this? Um, let's call it cars, table. row content we need that file php artisan view make view Uh, 
parse table row content. Okay. In that view, it's empty. Just for purposes, for the purposes of testing, let's just display something here. You can get the record that it's been used. I think. Yeah, with get record, you can just display information about the current row. So let's just display something here. Um, maybe a span. <clears throat> get record. Brand name. Has anything changed here? Not yet. Well, actually it did. Showing up here, but it's not replacing my rows. How so? Oh, right. Maybe we should then go back to the car list component and not use not use the columns anymore yeah so if we don't use any columns <clears throat> then it's only going to use this layout and then we can use that layout and I'm losing my voice already <clears throat> we can use that layout to display the information in any fashion we want. <clears throat> and guess what? We are going to, first we're going to create a, a, a new liveware component that is going to house the carousel card. Then in the row content, we're going to use that component. We're probably going to need the record inside our com inside our component to use information from the record. So I'm going to just pass a prop. Let's call it R. Now let's add this to our car carousel car component. Let's say car sorry public car car. Let's see if it works like that. According to the documentation from LiveWire. Any props that we pass or any yeah any properties that we pass into the component, Liveware is going to try and match it to a public property with the same name. So that should work. And then let's go to this Liveware carousel card view. That's in views. Livewire carousel card and then use uh, again let's just use span for testing 
and let's display the brand name again car brand name <clears throat> Cannot assign closure. Ah, it's a closure. Right. Oh. Dum, dum, dum. This is a function. Just call the function. Okay, what now? I probably didn't import the model here there you go so now we not only have a custom row for our table but that custom row is using a liveware component for the content of the row so now we can um we can implement the carousel card uh, running a little bit late. Let's run another 20 minutes so that I have at least time to plug in that component here. It's not, it shouldn't be too difficult because that component, I've already created that. I'm not going to create it again. I'm just going to use the code from a previous video that I made and plug it here. So again, if you are interested in seeing how I created this component, uh, I'll leave a link in, probably in the description of this video so that you can uh, go and watch that. But later, just later. Okay, so let's let me close a few things here. It's getting crowded. I don't need this. Carousel card. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to open the repo for that other project called Livewire Carousel Card. And I'm going to, first of all, copy the template first. Gonna copy all of it and Put that into the carousel card blade of PHP that you see here. I'm guessing I'm, I'm going to have to change a few things, but we'll get to that. So let's just save that and then the implementation of the component. That shouldn't change much. I get, I, and actually, I just have one public images array that is used for the pictures. In this case, I can just probably in the carousel card. Here I have the images from the component turned into a JavaScript array for Alpine.js. And I can probably just say car images instead since the images column is being cast from JSON to an, to, to an array, then this will be an array, an array will turn into an, a JavaScript array, and everything should work. <clears throat> and then down here, instead of cars or card, I can probably let's do away with the span and just use an H3, and then display... Car brand name next to it car model come on model and then car year the last thing I need to do is make the images that I prepared to be available in the public folder. So right now they are living in the storage app public folder. And for them to be available as a public asset, 
I just need to open the terminal and run PHP artisan storage link. And now this creates a sim link in the public folder called storage and that contains the images that I'm that I need. And if everything goes well, I think the component, the implementation of the component, the carousel card should work as it is. As is, sorry. Everything saved. Let's go back to the web page and see what's broken. Time to read property name on no. Oh, I, I lost the property, right? Brand, use brand. Brand? I think the problem is that I lost this car. So I need to go back to the carousel car. No, it's still there. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Brand name. Where's the error? Here. Oh. I'm sure you were, yeah. Even if, even I saw the R in capital, capital R, and it didn't register to me that you were pointing to me the letter that was missing. I was just thinking, yeah, it, it happens to everyone, a typo. You just type the capital letter without noticing. No, you're missing the R. Dude, thank you. Very, very helpful. Oh, God. That's what happens when you do it live. Whoa. Kind of worked. What's happening here? Hmm. Hello, Ivan. How you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here. Let me see what's happening. Uh, image. Oh, names. The names of the images, of course. That's in the... Uh, in the cedar database cedar database cedars car cedar see the files are called um car one two and three and that's jpeg Okay, save that. I'm going to have to refresh the database again. PHP artisan migrate fresh and PHP artisan BBC. Okay, I don't like it that it's too it's too tall in my opinion but and not wide enough but i think that's just me uh that's because i chose to have so many columns but yeah it kind of works yeah why it's missing a few features honestly it's, it's got a few bugs car three missing Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, let's do that again. It's not a bug. It's me. Migrate fresh. DB seed. 
refresh. One, two, three. Okay. So yeah, it's probably too many columns. It's cramping it up a little bit and I am choosing to have a default uh, height. So let's maybe go with less columns then. Make it look a little bit better. Car list. Car list. What are you? That looks better. Still looks a little big. I'm going to have to play around with the size of the card, but yeah, it works. Now we have a filament table with its own card. Um, uh, there is a few issues here. I can see a little corner over there. Do you see it? It's not rounded. Easy to fix. Not going to do it now. Uh, I also have to, we're going to have to see what happens when we add actions to this card, because I'm guessing that's going to go outside the card, the actual design of the card. So we'll see how it works. If push come to shove, I'll just not use table actions and just actions on the card, but we'll see, we'll see. That's a problem for future me. For now, let's just celebrate that we have a filament table using custom rows with a filament with a library component. So yeah, uh, yeah, that took less than I thought. Uh, we're going to stop here. And uh, next week, we are going to move on to new pastures and probably going to start working on the administrative side. Well, maybe. I think we'll, I, I'm going to start with uh, just polishing the table that we just did and then move on to the admin side where uh, users can manage their car listings and create new cars, add new files, etc. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you found any of this helpful, don't forget to leave me a like, just like you're hitting that heart button. Hit the like button as well. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the, the next live stream and uh, love you all. See you in the next one. And I have to push the button here. Okay.